this is Fiona Gallagher and bipolar disorder. This is my case study project for abnormal psychology. Patient identification, Fiona Gallagher, 21 to 30 in the series is her age, her race is white, and her gender is female. Her medical history, she had a broken arm and she's had an abortion in the past. Her psychosocial history, she had her marital status, she's currently single. She's been married and engaged to separate men. Her sexual history, she's had a large number of sexual partners. In her education, she dropped out of high school her junior year and got her GED when she was 22. Her occupational history, she's had a lot of jobs throughout the years. Um, her socioeconomic status, she's lower class and struggles to pay rent, water, or gas bills. And growing up, she had inconsistent housing and she's born in Chicago, Illinois. Her family, Monica's her mother, Frank is her father. Her mother is bi has bipolar one disorder, is an addict, an alcoholic, and left when Fiona was nine, has had multiple suicide attempts, and died from a cerebral hemorrhage in 2016. Frank, her father, has had liver failure that needed a liver transplant, was an alcoholic and drug addict, multiple overdoses. He is ne neglectful and abusive to the family and died from COVID in 2019, not, no, 2021. Lip, her brother, is a recovered alcoholic, and for a while he was the head of the household when Fiona could not be the head of the household. And Debbie, her sister, is a single mother. mother. Her other brother, Ian, also has bipolar one disorder, and she has two other younger brothers. Her symptoms are periods of not sleeping, distractibility, irritability, impulsivity, depressed mood, angry outbursts, and reckless behavior. Um, most of her time is taken up by either work or taking care of family, but when not doing those things, she's partying. Her coping strategies include drinking, fighting, sex, and drugs. Her eating habits are normal, drinking habits are excessive, she does not smoke, drugs are excessive, and she does not drink coffee. Her support group includes friends, Veronica and Kevin, and her siblings. Her socioeconomic environment, she struggled to pay rent and to pay gas, water, and electricity bills. She's lived on the streets on and off while growing up. She's lower class and uses public transportation. Here are the three clips. It's not gonna let me show them. <laughs> but the first clip is a scene of her in an argument with her father. The second clip is um, a clip of scenes of her showing her depressed mood and the last clip is a video of her in a manic episode. Um, the positives, the show talked about things such as self-harm and suicide with other characters and they portrayed them very well. They also talked about the psych ward and portrayed that very well. Um, they were very good at showing the lows and the highs and how the different Disorder can differ between patients. The mother's highs are portrayed very well. They're portrayed very high and very low. Um, while Fiona's are more stable, it's harder to pick out. Um, and the negative, she was never actually diagnosed with anything in the show. My screen keeps moving. The display of symptoms. The display of symptoms are very subtle until she has her first manic episode after her arrest. She was partying every night, staying up and cleaning every night excessive amount of drugs and alcohol, thinking she is better than others. She got into an argument with her coworkers where she expressly stated that she was better than them and deserved to keep the job. Her anger is seen in almost every episode that she's in and her impulsivity includes getting married so soon, drinking and driving, etc. And there are multiple scenes of her physically assaulting people. Her diagnosis is bipolar one disorder. 